Um, I think what really threw me the most is the fact that Anna, to this day, is maintaining her love for Derek and the fact that they are in love and that Derek loves her back and that she was not guiding his hand consciously or subconsciously, that it was Derek speaking. And she maintains to this day her love for Derek. This is what she said, which was like, wow. I'm not guilty of what they were accusing me of. If the accusation is I have some weird perversion that makes me want to molest helpless, intellectually impaired people, that's simply not the case. This whole thing is framed in terms of consent and his ability to consent because I'm the one who's accused of assault. It's all as if it was all coming from me, which is really not fair to him because he seduced me and he deserves some credit for that. Here's this guy who's so physically impaired and he, he got me to fall in love with him and with his words. Did you hear that? She said, he seduced me. The nonverbal man with cerebral palsy who previously had been diagnosed as having the mental capacity of a baby, okay? He seduced her. That's what she said. She said that he deserves some credit, that he got her to fall in love with him. You know, I, I wasn't there. <laughs> And I don't like to call people predators because unless I know for show, for show. But what I will say is this is how predators talk. You will always hear these creepy predators always talking about how, oh, you know, she seduced me. Talk about children, mind you. Oh, she's fast. She's the, she's the one. She seduced me. They seduced me. Talk about children. You know, talking about women minding their business. Oh, she seduced me because she had a short skirt on. <laughs> it's giving predator. Okay. It reminds me of Mary Kay Letourneau. Y'all remember Mary Kay Letourneau? The teacher who, uh, who um, sexually assaulted her, her teenage student who was like 13 at the time and had a baby with him and then eventually had two babies went to jail and and after coming out of jail married this dude and stayed married to him until she died of cancer do y'all remember that big scandal there was this one interview where the interviewer was basically trying to get Mary Kay Letourneau. This is like years later, you know, the boy Vili Fulau, he was an adult like and they had already had their two children and the interviewer sitting there trying to get her to acknowledge, like, listen, girl, like, you you already did your time. Like, you can't go back. He's an adult now. Just be honest. Like, y you know that you, what you did was inappropriate, right? And you know what she said in that interview? She really spent a few minutes trying to say that Villy, the 13-year-old boy, was the, quote, boss, he was the boss in the beginning and she really g tried to get Billy himself to be like, tell him, tell him you were the one, you were the one that pursued me. You were the boss. You were the one that was in control. This 30 something year old woman at the time saying that a 13 year old boy was in control of their sexual relationship. What the fuck? And it was such an awkward exchange because Billy himself is like, why are you, what are you doing right now? He refused to acknowledge it and was like, you're being weird. This sounds weird. It's weird that you're trying to get me to sit here and be like, I was the one that, that started this whole thing. It's weird. Look it up. If you don't remember it, look it up. It's such an awkward exchange, but it's just such a quintessential example of how predators will literally say that the people that they're preying on seduce them. The children that they're preying on seduce them. Just like this woman here had the nerve to be like, oh, he seduced me. Wow. The nonverbal disabled man with cerebral palsy, 